Hey guys, Fractal Muffin Cake here, and welcome back to Siberia 2. This is episode 6, I believe. So, in the last episode, we uh, spoke to Hans, who's uh, in the room back here, and we picked up a brush as well. What I did want to do is I just wanted to look um, at that thing of the scroll the chap gave us to us because we didn't get a chance to read it properly that's a weird sound okay yeah because i couldn't read it all okay alexia was a man of god and my friend he lived away from the monastery for many years among the strange yukul people and their stories of great mammoths of old that were divine to them I am no wise monk, far from it, but I have prayed to God long enough to understand that he takes many different forms in the imaginations of men. This might help you. The key is in the light of the mammoth's eye. Okay, and this is the stained glass mammoth. Can't rotate that around such that looks like it's indented possibly that eye area so little um bewildered but uh, let's carry on um i might go and see if that guy is in the chapel is that chapel or is that library i think the chapel was this way let's just uh pop in here yeah That whispering is quite freaky. <laughs> okay. So let's have a look, because I've never had a real good look in here. Nothing I can do. It's locked. I don't think we've got... Uh, we have got a key here. No. That's for something else. I think we picked that up in the town. Okay, let's have a wander. Sure, we don't want to miss anything. Oh, hello. Hello, father. Hello, my child. Okay, let's ask him about Hans. You really can't do anything for Hans? His destiny is not in mortal hands. We must pray, dear girl, pray for his redemption. But Hans has no reason to repent. His fever-driven outpourings are not those of a holy man. Oh, far from it. Hans Varlberg is not a sinner. The pagan fantasies with which he sullies the air in his delirium are those of a heretic. Pray, female, pray to save your friend from the sizzling fires of hell. God. You, you're <laughs> a total crackpot. You're a fanatic. I will talk to Hans, you hear? Okay. I talked to Hans. Yeah, yes. I have. <laughs> he seems better. It is but an illusion, my girl. His mortality is teetering on the brink. I know about these things. He told me about a monk who could help him. And what monk might that be, Miss Walker? A monk who has spent long years with the Yukols, that mysterious tribe from the far north. Uh, your friend is clearly very sick, my poor child. Mm, I don't think he is. I don't think he's one of, I don't think he wants to help him, to be honest. Father, do you know a man named Alexei Tukianov? He was a heretic and charlatan. He is not worth the breath, my girl. It seems Hans Varlberg considers him highly. Your friend must have lost his marbles. But could I just meet the man anyway? No. Alexei Tukianov has left us. A long time ago, Miss Walker. Okay. Excuse my insistence, Father, but where might I be able to find Alexei Tukianov? It's very important. Alexei Tukianov is dead, my girl. Oh. May his soul rest in peace. May his soul rest in peace! 
All right. Could I go back angry then? <laughs> we absolutely must continue our journey. We must. Don't even think about it, child. Mr. Vorlberg is in no fit state. Hans Vorlberg is going to see his dream come true. You hear me? Wretched girl. His dreams are almost at an end and there is nothing you can do. Wretched girl? Hans often told me about the mysterious people of the far north, the Yukels. They are degenerate heathen savages that worship idols and false gods and resist the redemption of the Lord. Hans lived among them for a long time. They're like a second family to him. Please, dear girl, do not let yourself succumb to the quaint temptations of those pagans. Their only ambition is to wallow in their so-called primitive paradise and all its lechery and bestiality. Remember that those who live far from God doom themselves to eternal chastisement. Okay, I think I've heard all I need. I'm off. Go, my child. But weigh the consequences of your actions well. <sighs> Okay. Anything we can look at here? Hello, Father. More options? Hello, my child. I don't think Hans is delusional when he tells me that this mysterious monk can help him. He's very lucid. Please, dear girl, lend no credence to the rantings of a dying sinner. It is clear the man is inventing nonsense tales in the vain hope of remission. I don't care who the Yukels are or what they worship, but I believe I can help Hans to reach his dream. That's all that counts for me. I pray to the Lord that that hell-fed tribe have been wiped out. In our land, alcohol and the pox are the tools the Almighty wields to purge himself of his anger and rid us of the depraved. Okay, I think I've heard all I need. I'm off. Go, my child. But weigh the consequences of your actions well. <sighs> okay, is he gonna go? Or have we got anything else Hello, to speak Father. to him about? Hello, my child. Yeah, we're done. We are done. Is there anything we can see here? I'm not seeing a lot. Nothing here. What's that? Okay, I want to stir. This is really amazing work. You cut. You cut out. Whiling away those celibate hours. Ah, I want us to use something. What have we got? Just candy, matches, a brush coin. I can't use a brush there. What's it want us to use? Must be something that it wants. What's over here? It's just the same, isn't it? Oh, hold on. What's she doing? I didn't see anything there. Oh, okay, so we've got a cross and then these dots. I wonder if it's worth me just jotting this pattern down. Because you know what I'm like, I kind of forget these things. <laughs> Let me just put this down. So we've got the cross, we've got one dot above it. And we've got two blanks, two blanks there, three blanks at the bottom, and then a dot there, dot there, dot there, dot there. You should see my picture. It's awesome. Okay. Hmm. Some kind of sim. Yeah, some kind of symbol. I don't know why she's not finishing her lines off. Take it nothing we can do with that one. I'll just double check. No. Hmm, 
very odd. Okay, let's pop out. I don't know where else we can uh, go. We didn't do much in the library in the last episode. I think we just had a little butchers around, but there wasn't anything. Actually, there was something that we couldn't pick up because she kept saying they'll see me or something like that. So maybe we should pop back to the library and have a look in there. See if we've got any more available options as such. Okay, so it looks empty now. Uh, I need to come down, don't we, to go this way. I can't see anyone down there now, before. So I wonder if we can pick that thing up, whatever it is. It's quite a nice room, actually. Yeah, this is it, wasn't it? Hmm. Oh, hold on. This looks like that symbol, doesn't it? With the um, the cross. So it's like the one above, which I'm taking it as that one. It's a very odd angle. And then the three below were blank. So it's these two and these two and that one. So what happens if we do that? What's she going to do? Oh, it grabs it. Okay, so it's that one. Those three, uh, these three are blank. So let's go for this one and then the one next to it. Uh, that flame's a bit weird, isn't it? <laughs> this one. Mm-hmm. Um, and then one, two, three. I'm counting the desks. So count one, two, three. So these two here. If I've jotted it down right, it looks okay. Because then we should have two blanks in between the top one. Where's that come from? Where's that light? Have we got to go up again? Something opened. I'm not sure where it is. Is it around the back of here? Oh, here it is. Oh, wow. So they said the key was in the elephant's eye. Can we put that in there? So the elephant's eye is there. Uh, I can't see where I put it. Um, can I not take it out? <laughs> I just... <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, I don't know what that's done.
a little on the confused side. I can't see anything different. Let's just pop down there again. nothing here is it okay I I think I'm missing something with that at the top I've got to be missing something surely we need to be able to find out more information from that. Although we put the uh, like the mammoth glass uh, thing in there, I'm, I'm not happy that I haven't missed something. Oh, what's these then? This is where it opens. Oh. Um, what did it just look at? I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> um, oh, here we go. Ah, I couldn't see what it was lighting up. I can see now like another circular thing on the wall here and it's the eye of the elephant it makes sense oh wow secret door oh or a secret cupboard okay what have we got here anything of interest Ah, Alexandra Yukinovi. I don't know how you say it. Notes and sketches from a frozen north. I was going to see how long. Oh, look! The Yukai Siberian bear. Once tamed, the Yukai is an affectionate but whimsical animal. It reacts all forms of discipline training and only if there are no dogs available is it used to pull sleds. Certain Arctic peoples, however, seem to be better mastered the secret of the domestication and the Yukai is central to their daily activities. Okay, it looks like there's quite a lot of here in regarding the Yukol people. A religious mask uh, representing the sole messenger who guides the dying to the other world. The Yukols are fearful of him. I think I will be as well. There's quite a lot here, so if you want to pause it and have a read through, because some of the books are quite in depth. Um, I remember from Siberia 1, uh, they can go on. You've got the Yukol Shaman. So yeah, I'll just flick through these pages. And if you want to say pause it to give it a read, that is cool. So yeah, it just says about the Yukos migration. So they use the mammoth for both uh, transport and beast of burden for meat, skin, fat and ivory. So they were forced north by changing climate conditions and the Yukos followed. Okay. Well, there's quite a lot here actually. I don't remember it being this long. So we've got the blue grass that I mentioned. Scarlet Bramble, 
mixed with walrus blubber or tallow, scarlet bramble is frequently used in nuchal medicine. Oh, the fumes released by burning it have considerable healing properties. The shamans re, uh, recount that the plant only grows on the tomb of one whose soul is at peace. Do you reckon we've got to get that? Oh, wow. Oh, there's quite a lot here, actually. Okay, so it looks like we may need to find that plant. Is there anything else here? Oh, are you called relic? I'm always double checking because I usually miss things very easily. So what's this? Uh, don't know if we can just look at it, can we? No, that's fine. Okay, so we've made a little bit of progress. So I think if we pop out, um, there is a graveyard here. I don't know whether it's worth popping over here because I think there's someone in there. Might be worth to see if we can actually talk to them. Whiling away those celibate hours. Is that all you're going to say? Okay. Oh, what's this? <sighs> this casket gives me the creeps. Oh. Hmm. It's kind of steep. But with the sled, you could slide down. Kate, why am I finishing your sentences off for you today? Oh, what's that? Ah, oh, look, it's that stuff from the book. And that's his graveyard. Oh, graveyard, his gravestone. Nine, uh, 1895 to 1996. What on earth is that? What on earth is that? Well, I want it. Can we not pick it up? No. What on earth is that? Can't we pick it? What on earth is that? Okay, I'll give up. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay. Can't go that way. I'll come back this way. Let me go and pop in and see Hans, see if we've got any more options there. So the only other thing that we haven't looked at is that machine just at the entrance to the monastery. Um, so that's something we might need to pop down and have a look at, because I haven't used that at all yet. Hans? Mm -hmm. oh, thanks, Hans. Let's go back out again. Right. Let's pop back to the chapel. And if we haven't got any options there, we'll go back to the main entrance.
I just want to get Hans better so we can get moving. Hello, father. Hello, my child. No options there. Oh, God. What to do next? Um, so we've got this area, but I haven't found a key. I don't know if that, that key won't work, will it? What's in there? I can't really see. There's nothing can be... Doesn't, doesn't like that key. Hmm. It's a bit hard from this angle to see what's in there. Okay, let's go to the entrance to have a look at that thing. I don't know what it is. It's obviously there for somebody's in. Oh, wrong way. Okay. Yeah, we had the option for this as well that we were able to look at last time. Oh, look, some cutters in there now. Oh, I wonder if that's so we can get the brambles. Hmm. Okay. I wonder if it's worth seeing we're halfway to the entrance. Just going looking at the machine. I think it might be. He won't talk to us because we're female. Okay. So. Oh, okay. Oh, that looks like. Um, this one they make all the candles. Oh, that's a wick. I need something else to activate. About this. Anything here? I don't need to match, do I? Coins. I need something else to activate. Oh, now do it. I haven't closed it. Oh, we got a candle. Okay. Take it, that's all we had to do with it. I think we've got to make another one, have we? Okay, let's see if we can go and cut those brambles up. Off the tombstone. And I guess we need to try and uh, use that on Hans. Okay, so let's pick those up. So you've got the herbs and brambles. So let's go see Hans now. Um, see if we can help him with the methods of uh, that monk. Hans? Father, Hans doesn't want to stay in the attic anymore. What happened? It, it's not his fault. Oh, he's started again, isn't he? So, let's have a look at the inventory. So we've got 
this shoe called Relic. Uh, we can do with that. I wonder if that's like a little pot. Oh, let's have a look here. Okay, let's uh, try. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, pot. Okay. And then we put the candle in there. Cheese and dry bread. Yummy. <laughs> Don't know if we can. Cheese and dry bread. Okay. Um. What about the brambles? Okay. So can we mark matches? Does that not light it? Okay. I need something else to act. But we What else do we need? I'm not sure but I think I'm reaching up to half an hour so I think I'll end it here and we'll uh, try and work out how we get the brambles to infuse the uh, aroma for hands and hopefully we'll then be able to continue the journey so thanks for joining me guys and I'll see you in the next episode take care then bye bye